Well, it's been a challenging few years as we've shouldered the weight of a global pandemic. And yet here we are, emerging out on the other side of it. We can even possibly say that we can see that image fading in our rear view. Or can we? In fact, HIV, the epidemic, is now creeping into its fifth decade. But what once was a death sentence, now, for people living with HIV, can be a long, fulfilling life. And we are about to take a deep dive into the testing that has made that all possible. Being able to shift my own narrative around HIV, it saved my life. I became a part of a research study through Emory University uh, where they were pretty much looking at the sexual behavior of black queer men in Atlanta or men who have sex with men. So um, I took the test, answered the questions, and the researcher comes back in and she says, well, Alfonso, your HIV test came back preliminary positive. And uh, in that moment, I just feel myself sink. Um, my viral load was so high that they were like, okay, you have to get on something now. Every 30 days, I would go to the doctor, they would check my viral load in my CD4. Uh, I don't think I really understood what was going on at, at the time, but what I did know was that as long as I kept taking my medication, I would live. I was able to see my viral load go from in the thousands to the hundreds to undetectable. And that was life-changing for me. When I would get the lab results back and see that my viral load was, okay, I was at 500,000, now I'm at 20,000. And it's like, okay, that's not perfect, but it's decreasing. It's getting better. It made me feel like I achieved something for myself. Woo. And being able to shift my own narrative around HIV was so, it, it saved my life. When I discovered Alfonso and Jamel's story, it inspired me to dive deeper and to learn more about those not only living with HIV, but living normal, healthy lives. I met with Dr. Ada Stewart to discuss how physicians help patients and the importance of testing. You talk about how best for us to ensure that, number one, you know your status. Mm. Whether it's positive, negative, you know, one needs to know their status. Mm. Uh, and once you know that, then you can look at, you know, if you are negative. Mm -hmm how best to make sure you stay negative. Okay. If you're a positive, how best for you to get into care and to become healthy mm -hmm. and to become undetectable. Why is this, why is getting the viral load so critical so to? So that is how we end up monitoring our patients. As we talk about, you know, U equals U, undetectable means untransmissible. Mm -hmm. This gives us a guide. Mm -hmm. You know, I tell patients that once your viral load is so low within your body mm -hmm. that it can't be picked up on, you know, normal testing, then that's the goal because that means that that virus cannot be transmitted to, to, someone, else. to someone else. It's really important to have that reliable test because that is a way for me to be able to have that conversation with my patient to ensure that, yes, you are undetectable. You know, having that test that is truly reliable, that I can count on, having a lab uh, within my uh, facility, within my four walls, is really critical uh, in that I am able to test, uh, I am able to monitor uh, my patients and ensure that they remain healthy. Um, being able to access uh, those you know, test results is really important. And it just helps us to be able to really take care of our patients mm -hmm. uh, to the, the fullest of our uh, ability. After speaking with Dr. Stewart, I realized just how important testing is to ensuring a healthy life. 
Considering the importance of both diagnosis and viral load testing, the Aptima HIV assay is a game changer. I went to San Diego to visit Sangeeta Nair at Ologic, who was instrumental in the development of this groundbreaking assay. Doing HIV testing around the world and also the high throughput offered by this assay mm -hmm. makes it a valuable tool for youth in labs around the world to help meet that goal to end the HIV epidemic. Mm. I, I also imagine it's a game changer in terms of the workflow for, for people in the labs, uh, not just a game changer for, for the patients out in the field or, or for the physicians, but um, uh, for the lab technicians in terms of what you were mentioning, what it used to be like when we were testing mm -hmm. versus now they have this dual claim, this dual claim test at their mm -hmm. disposal and it changes the way they function, the way they work, uh, night and day from what it used to be 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great change in workflow, uh, freeing up people to do other things mm. and also the traceability provided by the automation on the Panther system, the random access where they can keep adding tubes of samples as they come into the lab and not needing to batch the testing mm -hmm. really improves the turnaround time, the throughput of the test, and all the sensors and things on Panther, which make sure that the test is being performed correctly. Mm -hmm. The software that reports the results and communicates with the lab information system. There are so many aspects to this uh, test as well as platform that make it a uh, really good addition to any clinical lab. Sangeeta really opened my eyes to the importance of Hologic's Aptima HIV-1 Quant DX test. But what is the lab's perspective? How do they perceive the importance of this platform? I visited Foundation Laboratory in Pomona, California to get their thoughts. Panther has really revolutionized our operation because it has streamlined everything and it gives us the opportunity to do different parallel testing, different tests at the same time. And also uh, by using one uh, uh, tube sample, we can do different tests on that single uh, tube sample. And uh, that's very, very important because sometimes the patient doesn't want to give more than one uh, sample. So with that specimen, we can do a lot of different tests in, in terms of infectious diseases, and also we can do HIV, HCV on the same uh, tube. And that is very important. But above all is uh, the turnaround time. In within two and a half to three hours, we can have HIV and HCV quant results out, which is never heard before. And, uh, simultaneously. Simultaneously, yes. And uh, that is very, very important for our operation because in some cases that we are dealing with uh, infectious diseases centers or we do uh, some uh, clinical trials, they want the results uh, very uh, quickly and we are able to deliver that. Every day we process HIV and HIV quant results. Uh, whereas in other centers that can take 10 uh, working days. Wow. For us, it's about um, five, six hours after processing. Five, six hours versus 10 working days. Yes, yes, yes. After speaking with Dr. Jordan, I wanted to dive a little deeper into the key differentiators of Hologic's Aptima Quant DX assay. As luck would have it, I met with not only Alfonso and Jamel in Atlanta, but a couple of Hologic experts while in town for a conference. The Aptima HIV assay is not the only nucleic acid amplified test on the market. However, we are the only one that uses our transcription mediated amplification as well as target capture, which is very specific and sensitive. There are over 40 publications talking about our workflow as, as well as assay performance. And um, that is something that's definitely pointed out because again, rebaselining is important. Physicians do not want to rebaseline. So it's not that your assay is better in detecting and going to give you different results. It's more of the automated platform and the ease of use of the platform and the workflow for those technicians that are running these tests and many other tests every day. When you're utilizing an assay, whatever it is that you're testing for, it needs to be incredibly sensitive and specific. And what we see 
from our data is that it is. The assay that we're talking about today is incredibly sensitive and specific, and it's very reproducible. That's also a very major component when we start looking at this from a laboratory's perspective. And the importance of that is to make sure that you're providing continuity of care for patients. It's making sure that you're providing them accurate diagnostics so that they know what condition they have and what sorts of treatments they need to pursue. Another thing to expand on is, is, for example, when you compare our assay to some of our competitors, there's a lot of data to support and demonstrate that this assay is just as sensitive and specific as any other assay that's on the market. Uh, and, and again, you don't have to re-baseline. Sexual health goes beyond just HIV. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people don't necessarily realize that because um, HIV is the message that's just pushed out so much. Mm -hmm. But it's extremely important that when you see your provider, yes, get that HIV test, but get a full panel, ask for a full STI, STD panel, because mm. that's going to give you um, not just a, not just a narrow look at your sexual health, mm. but it's going to, it's going to let you get a, a full idea of what's going on inside of your body. Yo, is there any um, bit of wisdom that you'd like to impart before we, uh, we dive into our, uh, our delicious cupcakes? I want to thank the lab, the people that work in the lab, because they are able to provide information that is unseen to the eye. I encounter a lot of folks that either are afraid to get on um, antiretroviral anti treatment or um, want to take a break and they say, well, I feel fine. And that's like, okay, I'm glad you feel fine. But the only way we would truly know what's going on inside is if you give us a little bit of that good stuff. Mm. So go see the vampire, mm. <laughs> go handle that. Um, and, and getting that information is just pivotal for the people that work in the field so that we can figure out treatment plans, we can figure out um, what things we have to offer folks. Yeah. But we wouldn't know any of that if we don't know what's going on. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, I think I would just say, remember that those vials of blood are people mm. and that people matter. Thank you for the work that they do because it really does impact humanity. Mm -hmm. Well, Jamel Alfonso, cheers to long, healthy, fulfilling lives. Bon appetito. Wow, it's been quite the journey meeting some truly fascinating people from the brilliant minds at Hologic to the courageous physicians in the field to the ever-inspiring people who've told us their equally inspiring stories of living with HIV. But there's one character that we cannot forget, and that is the Aptima HIV-1 Quant DX assay. To truly understand in precise detail someone's viral load and then tailor an antiretroviral therapy specific to that person is a game changer. And it's also a strong step in the direction of meeting the UN AIDS goal of 95, 95, 95 by 2030 through continuity of care and the science of sure.